okay, so this week's three-day challenge experiment, however you'd like to call it, we decided, meaning my sister and myself, um, we were going to try out uh, combining apple cider vinegar, which is right here, and CLA, which is right here. And I'm not going to say that I am endorsing any of these products as far as actual brands, because um, I'm not. <laughs> so, but I mean, Kirkland, of course, you know, you can't, you can't beat as far as the pricing and get two great big jugs like this. Um, so I had heard through the grapevine that people taking apple cider vinegar and CLA together um, was really accelerating fat loss. So what I do is in the morning, I fill... I know it's not really a shot glass. It's actually like a little mini Sunday glass I got way long time ago um, at a restaurant. But basically, I just fill it to a probably about here, right here, with the apple cider vinegar in the morning. And then again in the afternoon, anywhere between a little afternoon or maybe 1 o'clock. And then I do another one in the evening when, when it would be considered dinner time. Um... And then I just make sure I do take my CLA supplement. Again, I'm not endorsing the brand. It's just CLA. A thousand MGs. Um, each time I take the apple cider vinegar. Now, the only other thing I'm adding to this little mixture of experiment is uh, because uh, two reasons. Collagen, of course, is really good at being able to help... Um, build up your hair, skin, and nails, your bones, your joints, all kinds of good benefits. So I wanted to do a challenge where we would do two different things. As far as my sister, she's doing the bone broth to get her collagen. I am using like a collagen uh, supplement. So I have this one. Again, I'm not endorsing the brand. Just the This is the powder form, and it comes with a little scoopa. So it's just one you know, pretty hefty sized scoop that I put in water. It doesn't taste like anything. I just, I just want to always make sure I mix it up really good because I don't want to waste any of the granules. Now, over the weekend, I also came across a collagen supplement that was tablet form. So what I do is in the morning when I'm taking my other supplements that I like to take, I go ahead and also include that new collagen tablet that I just got. But the only thing is I wish I would have read the directions because I have to take six of them and they're pretty big. Um, but then that's like my morning slash breakfast collagen. And then I move on to the powder one um, for my afternoon and then my evening uh, portion. So I'm getting my collagen in three times a day. I'm getting my uh, apple cider vinegar in three times a day. And I'm getting one of these capsules along with my apple cider vinegar three times a day. Now, as far as my sister... Uh, she also wanted me to share that what she does is she's, she bought the Pacific brand bone broth and what she uh, adds to it uh, to supplement it is um, quite a few uh, spices actually. I mean, I'm sure it just makes it tastier. Plus there's a lot of spices that are actually just very good for you. Like for instance, she adds cayenne pepper, good for you. Um, she puts in ground turmeric, good for you. All a dash of each, she said, just a dash. Um, and then cumin, good for you. And then she also adds, I guess Kirkland has an organic brand of no salt seasoning. She puts a dash of that. And then she puts a dash of the Kirkland um, black pepper that you uh, from the grinder. And then a very small amount of the um, Himalayan pink salt, also from Kirkland. They're very big on Costco. <laughs> not that we, I'm not, I mean, I, I love Costco too, but I just thought it was cute that she's um, adding all the different, you know, like where the, the, where the items came from. Oh, and if it really matters to you, the turmeric came, uh, sorry, cumeric, turmeric came from Kroger, um, and the cayenne pepper came from Trader Joe's, okay? Now, what I thought was quite interesting was that... Um, I didn't want to do my first recording on my very first day because you're afraid there's not really any result to tell you as far as any loss yet. Um, and really I, all I would be doing is just explaining to you what I decided and my sister decided to do uh, for this three-day um, uh, mono fast. But so that today's actually day two, so I've already gotten through day one. And so I just thought it was really crazy ironic 
that when my sister emailed me this morning and told me what her uh, first loss was, it was 2.9. And guess what? Mine was 2.9. I would kind of wanted to round up to saying it was almost three because it really is. But um, just because it's so ironic that her and I both had the same loss and we have totally different body types, I just thought that was pretty trippy. At the same time, I'm really hoping that this combination of the CLA and the apple cider vinegar will do what they say as far as this rumor of having it be that it helps with um, really burning up the fat uh, more rapidly. Because so I really would like to see that kind of loss or at least close to it uh, kind of keep moving on through when it comes to um, this three dare. Uh, I got to admit today, yesterday, not so bad. Today, I kind of hit a little bit of a wall. It was tough, but I think a lot of it too is just emotional. Um, I had some challenges uh, and it was just, I was just, I was frustrated with the challenges. And so I think sometimes, you know, when, when any of us have a challenge uh, or you feel frustrated about something uh, or disappointed, uh, of course, you know, it'd be nice to have like a little snack or something. And I know I, I can, I'm doing this. So um, just have to deal with it and just get through it. Uh, my second treadmill session, I felt like it was a bit tougher to get through as far as I didn't feel like I had the same energy level that I normally do. But again, I really don't want to blame this regimen on it because I was fine yesterday. Um, and I was fine with my first treadmill session earlier today. Um, so I think, like I said, I think it was just kind of time of day and, um, just the, how the day went just was kind of like, I'm not, I wasn't, I was kind of not feeling. So the other thing that my sister wanted to share, um, kind of TMI, but if you guys are going to try this, it's a good idea to know. Now it's funny. She thinks it's because of the bone broth. I have a tendency to think possibly it could be because of the increase of apple cider vinegar because she said that basically when she does have her servings of bone broth and what she does usually is she'll have her first serving, which is like it's a um, eight ounce serving. Let me just check and make sure I'm saying this correctly. Uh, okay. Um, so, oh, I don't want to forget. Sorry, squirrel mode. Um, she also said when she takes her supplement, what she also likes to do is then drink peppermint tea uh, as the chaser. To help get the supplement down but she said of course not too hot a tea just just on the warm side um because it really it helps for two reasons get the supplements down and also if you do have a sensitive stomach when it comes to supplements it helps um soothe your tummy uh so that's a nice uh thing to know about the peppermint tea um i on the other hand i'm terrible when it comes to supplements as far as i can just chuck them down People think I'm, they see, let me see how many I chucked down in one shot. They go, what? Um, but I've been doing this for quite a while. All right. So she, here, here we go as far as her servings. So she had uh, three, uh, three one ounce bowls of the Pacific Foods bone broth. And she starts at about 11 in the morning and then around 2.30 in the afternoon. And then last bowl is usually about six o'clock. For me, like I said, my collagen, my first tablets of collagen, I usually do about eight-ish. And then my first uh, collagen powder mixed in water is um, about anywhere from a little afternoon, maybe around one. Uh, and then I haven't even had my third one yet, and it's rolling on 545. So I'll probably end up having that a little bit at six or six after six. So let me just look at her notes a little bit here about... Um, Oh, yeah, as far as just, maybe I already said this, about, you know, just if you, she thinks it's the bone broth. I think it's the apple cider vinegar, but um, after she has her bone broth, she feels like she needs to stay pretty close to a restroom because it kind of goes right through her. Um, I have noticed that with what I'm doing too, uh, for the, mainly in the morning time, morning into the afternoon. Um, but I always, I thought it was because the apple cider vinegar. So we'll see. Uh, other than that, I drink plenty of water. The other thing that I, because uh, my body's just used to having it, is I still drink the magnesium supplement called Calm. And I also still uh, squeeze my half, half of lemon juice uh, with about eight ounces of water 
and then a dash of cayenne pepper. So I too, I'm getting the cayenne pepper in my system. But what we definitely want to be focusing on mainly is that um, our three main objectives are the apple cider vinegar, CLA, and then collagen. And she's doing her form of collagen, bone broth. I'm doing my form of collagen, which is supplement. So we'll see how we both do. She feels that her skin is already glowing. Awesome. Um, I guess my skin's doing okay. I mean, I'm looking at myself doing this recording. It looks like it's decent, I suppose. <laughs> I'm, I'm my terrible critic. Okay, so I will leave this for now. And then uh, I'm either I'm either going to record tomorrow. That'll be my last day on the three-dayer. Uh, and maybe I will, uh, depending on what, you know, awesome result I have tomorrow. Knock on wood. Um, but then, of course, you know, just overall, I'll probably after the challenge is done, do um, a recap. All right. So I guess that's it for now. Thank you so much. And have any questions, let me know. Have any comments, let me know. Please subscribe. And I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Bye.